23 days, 24 seven, that led us to the rest of our lives. I cannot believe we've been married for two years already. All right, in order for me to do this story any justice, I have to take it all the way back to the beginning, like the very beginning. On February 17th, 1995, Christopher Jordan Williams was brought into this world. And that date is so important when it comes to our marriage because little did we know, 24 years later, he would think it was a good idea to get married on his actual birthday. It's kind of funny how this story came to be, but before we get there, we're gonna go all the way back to the very beginning of how Christopher and I met. We both got casted on a show called Big Brother, season 20, and for some reason, we were just kind of drawn to each other. We were not drawn to each other in a romantic way at first. It was strictly platonic, and he decided to spread a vicious rumor to everybody in the house that I was sick and that he would take one for the team and allow me to sleep with him, which I was not sick, number one. I just have really bad allergies, and anybody that knows me knows that about me. On about day four of us sleeping together, which was day six of us being in the house, we ended up sharing our first kiss. By day 11, he asked me to be his girlfriend. Somewhere in between day like 15 and 17, he told me that he loved me, which he said that I said it first, but if you look at the footage, I said I love you too, which means that he had to say it first because I was responding to something. But another argument for another day. Some birds and the bees things happened. We ended up falling in deeper love, but he got eliminated on day 23. So that means 23 days, 24 seven had come to an end. And I didn't know if our love was just gonna be a fling or if it was gonna be a forever thing, which obviously ended up being the latter. So long story short guys, he proposed to me on finale night, which was 77 days later, so 23 plus 77 equals 100 days. And that was our love story, and we've been doing happily ever after since then. We've been traveling, we've been building an empire together, making money, giving presents. We've been doing a lot of things. We've had a child, and not a real one. We've had a baby child named Velvet, who happens to be a dog, and he's perfect, and I love him so much. And then we are also probably gonna get another baby child soon because I love dogs and her name will be Gigi. And now we're possibly moving to Texas. So our relationship has just been crazy. But now we've come to the part where we wish my baby a happy 26th birthday because he is officially 26. He has passed the threshold of 25 and now he is grown man status and basically almost 30. I'm sure he'll hate that I say that. Kudos to you three, you guys are amazing. I appreciate all of you guys. I am gonna take the next few moments to give a love felt message to my husband in front of this camera. Are you guys ready with me? <clears throat> all right. Christopher Jordan Williams. I love you so much and I really don't know where my life would be without you in it. There is a lot that comes with loving me, but you handle it like a champ and you're not even phased by any of the craziness. In fact, um, you kind of push me to be more crazy, more me, more bae every day. And I really feel like you're my soulmate. I have never met someone in such a short amount of time and fallen head over heels for them the way that I've fallen in love with you. You, um, 
I like my peanut butter and jelly, and I know that's like super cliche to say, and I know you don't even like peanut butter and jelly, but it's a very, very important um, metaphor because when you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you just kind of like blend together, and then you don't even know which part you're eating. Like, it's just like one, you know? <laughs> and that's us. So I just want you to know that like, no matter what you do, I'm always gonna be your ride or die. I don't think your personality is too much. I don't think you're too loud. I don't think you flex too much on Instagram. I think you are a bomb. And I think that this is only the beginning. You're only gonna go to higher heights. I support you 110%. You're never gonna get rid of me. I'm obsessed with you. These hoes can still get it if they even try to touch you. I am still like, you know, in love with you. You're still the one that I adore. Like, there's so many things like I could write just, words to you all day. I love you so much. Thank you for supporting my lifestyle. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for loving our children and our children to come. Um, and also, I just can't wait to see the man that you grow into. I love you so much, babe. And this is year two of the rest of our life. Love you, babe.